Hello everyone, today we will make the fatigue analysis with Prepo Max and FATLAB. FATLAB is fatigue analysis tool developed in MATLAB. It is a free and open source software. You can combine FATLAB with Prepo Max or with ENSYS. For today's example, we use Spaceman CR15 from Society of Automotive Engineers Keyhole Test Program. In the 1917, the Society, Society of Automotive Engineers Fatigue Design and Evaluation Committee started a test program to provide of basic data for fatigue life estimation. The program consisted, consisted of 57 tests. You can find link to this test and results in video description. Example from CR15 can you find also in FATLAB manual in 6.2 SAA keyhole spaceman. Here are the dimensions of spaceman CR15 and the load case. A simple sinus soil load with 15.6 kN. I model it in FreeCAD. Export the surface in step file. Begin new project in Prepo Max. Import the surface. It is two surfaces. I create a compound part and mesh it. Meshing parameters. Max element size 8 mm and min element size 1 mm. Second order no. For quad element, it is a no element first order. Second mesh setup, shell mesh. With, uh, with quasi structured quad and recombine algorithm blossom full quad. Create mesh. Mesh is finished, 1 mm elements in notch area. Now we create two reference points for forces. After this material, steel RQC100 with A modulus. Shell section with a thickness 9.5 mm. and now connect the pivot points with holes of specimen. Rigid connection. We still need a node Z for springs. I will to fix my model with springs. Very soft springs, it is just for balance. Create point springs at node Z. 
with stiffness 1. Change color to green. Create step. Static, automatic. Loads, two forces in x direction. It is nominal force, one kilonewton. I will later be scaled up in FATLAB to the 15.6 kilonewton. And for control, history plot of reaction force on springs, the forces must be very small. Rename analysis to CR1501. And run analysis. Results Principal max stress TOT4 megapascal. It is in notch area. Check reaction forces on spring. Re reaction forces are very small, springs are rarely just for balance. FAM analysis is finished. We can go to FATLAB. First about installation. I use FATLAB standalone version. For this, do you need MATLAB runtime R2022B? Download and install it. After this, you can download FATLAB from homepage, Fatigue Toolbox. You can find both links in the video description. You can Download FATLAB here. After unzipping, you can start file FATLAB.exe. I started. So here is FATLAB. About the workflow, definition of loads, setup model, Set up SN curve and start analysis. Step by step. Step 1. Set up loads. We can easily import loads from Excel. Here I have my load. Open it. You can see load with amplitude 15.6 kN and 200,000 repetitions. The Excel file looks like this. N is the repetition cycle, then time and load fx. The right array can be used for nodes. Back to FATLAB. Next step, model. Format Calculix. And open the result fi results file from PrepoMax. And stresses file for load fx is the same results file. This is my FA model. In step 3, we have to define SN curve. Several approximation methods for estimating the parameters can you find in literature or online. Here are some methods. For example, by afatic.com. You can find material database, link is in video description. Uh, you need at least the knee point, stress on cycling and slope B for your curve. In FATLAB, for primary part of curve, slope M1 is used. This is a negative re reciprocal of the slope B from SN curve. 
attention, don't mix it up. Also M1 is reciprocal of B. And for knee point is typical N is 1 million cycles. And delta stress, as a stress fatigue limit from SN curve, times 2. In our, in our example, steel is RQC100. The fatigue values for material you can find also in FATLAB manual. We go back to FATLAB and define SN curve. Duplicate default curve and change parameters. Primary slope M1 is 4.77. I use the same slope for secondary. Define knee point. You can define also after knee point a horizontal line for USN curves. It is classic Wöhler line. With min max cut off, you can differentiate the range from USN curve. In analysis option, you can define fatigue stress, here principal max, and cycle corner. Additional information you can find in FATLAB manual. Model is finished. And we can start analysis. Here you can see results summary. Damage, utilization ratio, and durable life set cycle, contour plot. Damage is 1. With hotspots, you can see results in user selected nodes. Here, damage and utilization ratio are on node 4800. Information about results Life is unendurable is equal to a plate load cycle, here 200,000, divided damage, D. And utilization ratio is stress from fatigue analysis, also the part stress, divided stress from SN curves, so is material stress fatigue limit. It was for today. See you next time. Bye bye.